In this segment, we're going to talk about some of the Kafka testing utilities that exist in the code base that you could use to make your testing with Kafka producers and consumers much easier. So let's first start with using a mock producer. So I'll go ahead and set these properties. Really don't need them in this case, so I probably could just do this. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so there's a mock producer which doesn't care about them. So I'm going to go ahead and create this mock producer. True, as we'll see, and we'll go over the source code for that in a moment, it tells it whether or not to auto-complete. We go ahead and create the record, just like we normally would. Again, I'm just using key and value, the text for my key, the text for my value. And I'm going to go ahead and call producer send and get back the metadata. Now, I told this to auto-complete is true, so I can have this assert here that the send should automatically complete, and it should complete immediately, so I can check that it's done. I could also see that it's successful. This is a little is error function, which just does the future to try and do a get. If that, remember, if that get fails, it's either going to return back the value, or it's going to throw. Okay, so if this get is either going to return back a value or it's going to throw an exception, in which case we'll return true. If we don't get an exception, return back false, it's not an error. And the offset should be zero. Okay, so we get an offset from it. The topic should be the same topic that we wanted. Okay, let's take a quick look at that mock producer code. Again, this is right from the Kafka code base. Okay, and this is using Kafka 8.2. So you can see here, we could pass in a cluster to it, and we could tell it to autocomplete, or just tell it to autocomplete, and it won't use any cluster. It just have an empty list. Or you could pass in nothing, and it'll automatically do the same thing of autocomplete be true. Some of the things that are nice, right, we saw the send function, but what's nice about it that you could do is you could tell it, you know, it's gonna give you the next offset, the partitions, the metrics, where it starts to help you is you could tell it whether or not to complete the next one. Okay, so you could tell it that you want it to error next. So you could tell it to do a variety of things, so like error the next function. So when you do call and say you're going to send a message, it'll error the very next one. So you could work on your error handling of what happens when the Kafka producer does throw an error. Okay, so this is a mock producer, which could come in handy. Maybe it doesn't fulfill all of your needs, but it's a good start and gives you an idea of how you could mock the producer and maybe a good you know, starting ground for what your mock producer may be if you need something slightly different. Now, just like there's a mock producer, there's a mock consumer. You could do some interesting things with it as well. Subscribe to topics, a list of topics. You could poll, okay, so that you want to go and read a message. And in this case, if we looked at this code, it's just going to go ahead and hand back a dummy record. One per topic you're registered for. So a nice little, you know, helper here. You could tell it to commit, all sorts of things, right? To seek to somewhere. It implements that whole consumer interface except it's not really going anywhere. So now you can put your code in place that uses a mock consumer and allows you to isolate your business logic. Again, this may not have everything you need, but hopefully will give you a good starting point and some good ideas of how you may want to build a mock consumer. So these are at least two of the testing facilities built into Kafka that you could use. And if you want to do more sophisticated stuff with, say, Zookeeper, you'll find that there are in-memory Zookeeper quorums you could use and other things to help you mock the whole environment. So again, these are two ways that you could help test your Kafka code, one with a mock consumer, one with a mock producer.